marriage, or at least a successful one, is all about communication. What do you think about that one? It's <laughs> horse shit, man. <laughs> this one is complete garbage on uh, multiple levels, but there's actually a book, a really fascinating book called How to Fix Your Marriage Without Talking About It. And the whole book, the premise is that there's so many studies that show that communication is not the key to a successful relationship, that in many cases, in an unhealthy environment, talking about the problem more actually makes it, it makes worse. It makes it worse because you're just feeding the toxicity yeah. over and over and over again. And yet you go to weddings, you go to any place. I mean, even professionals still haven't got the message from like the researchers that marriage is not all about communication. You constantly hear this. You hear it from friends. You hear it in wedding toasts. You hear it from other professionals, which is the most disturbing of all. We're not on the same page. We need to be. It's not all about communication. No, I mean, it's it's not how you communicate. It's what you communicate about. Yes. And that's the distinction with our 12-week program is though people will be like, well, we need better communication techniques. No, once they know their core values and what they're actually wanting in the relationship, now the conversation changes and they have the ability to actually share what it is that they want. I have a really great analogy for this. You ready for this? I'm ready. There's this idea. A lot of people that don't know anything about photography think that good photography is about the camera, right? So they actually go and buy nicer and nicer cameras thinking that the camera is going to make their photography better. And what you end up getting is basically a higher quality piece of shit. So, that, I mean, better tools is great. Like being a good communicator is a, is a great overall tool to have, but it's not the tool that's going to fix the problem. It's the actual underlying problem that needs to be addressed. Why are we having that argument in the first place? What is the root of this? Resolving that is the key. And really good communication skills help to get there. Sure, they can make it easier. But if we just simply talk about the problem, we're actually never addressing the underlying root cause. Yeah, so it's fair to say that good communication comes from the byproduct of what you're talking about. So when you get to the roots, you're naturally going to be a better communicator because you're connected with what it is that you actually want to say and do. When you know how to do that. Yeah. The knowledge of going to the problem and, and actually addressing the issue is the key piece of this. And that the communication aspect, it almost is like, it's just simply whether you're going to get there faster or slower. That, that's it. it. In the photography, it's it's how easy it is to create what you want to create, right? The better tool might make your life a little bit easier. In cooking, same thing. A better tool might make your life a little bit easier. And in relationships, better communication would make your life a little bit easier. But it does nothing to actually address the underlying issue. And that's where 90% of the effort needs to be focused on.